I'm just another Chris, and do I have a special video for you? Yes, yes I do. In today's episode, we will be talking about the Polaroid One Step 2 Stranger Things Edition. We will be learning all about the specs of the camera, quality of the pictures, and as an added bonus, we will be shooting some expired Stranger Things film packs. Yeah. So sit back, grab some mangoes, and enjoy episode one of the Just Another Chris 2020 Halloween special. All right, let's do this. I'm out here in the lovely sunny uh, Pacific Northwest. It's gorgeous out right now. Not really. It's pouring down rain, but it's kind of perfect for the shot I'm trying to do with this. Okay, so over here you can see the sign. It says things. I'm gonna take a picture with a Stranger Things camera with a Stranger Things film. Get it? It's kind of fun. Let's do it after this car comes by. I also have the Stranger Things limited edition frames for it, so I thought it was super fitting. This is also expired film as well, so hopefully. Hopefully it comes out okay. I haven't used the one step in a long time. I've just been using my SLR XX70. Could you imagine? The Stranger Things, the print on here as well as that one. I kind of want to take another one, but take it upside down. You know, the upside down. I'm supposed to leave the uh, Polaroid covered for the first few moments, or about 30 seconds or so, before you take it off the frog tongue to protect the exposure. And then I'm gonna get one more with Jordan. Jordan, you're gonna be my model. Go stand over there under the sign. Show them legs. <laughs> I, I'm gonna take this one upside down just for kicks. I hope I get one that's upside down because in these film packs, there's actual uh, ones that are upside down, but you don't know which ones is gonna be. Uh, so it kind of makes things challenging, but I've gotten lucky already a couple times. So let's see if I get lucky here. I got a Stranger Things one. I'm actually really, really excited. I hope that comes out okay. Yeah. Even though this has nothing to do with the actual show, I'm aware of that, but come on, it's cool. Now I'm gonna head down here and take a picture of an alien and a predator for a friend. So let's go do that now. Don't get this camera confused with the Polaroid One Step Plus, which is technically Polaroid's flagship camera. And I'll do a video on this at a later time. This is the One Step 2, which is the successor to this guy, which originally came out in 1976 and sold for $40, which is about $183 today. Not cheap, <laughs> that's for sure. The One Step 2 was the first camera that came out under the Polaroid name in over a decade when the company relaunched itself, and I think it was 2016. Uh, but this particular version of the One Step 2, it came out in 2019 for the season three of Stranger Things. What makes the One Step 2 kind of unique and pretty cool, some people don't like it, but it's definitely forward thinking, I would say. The One Step 2 replaced the need for a battery to be included in each film pack. Film packs are already pretty wasteful and bad for the environment, so having something with less stuff inside is always a better option and much better for the environment, especially not having a battery being thrown in the garbage. So it uses the new type of film called iType, which is technically exactly the same film as 600 type film, but again, there's just no battery included in each film pack, which means you can't use that particular film in older cameras, which could be you know, a negative depending on your case. But more on that coming up a little bit later. Now let's talk about the lens on this bad boy. <laughs> this lens is an optical grade polycarbonate and acrylic lens, which is just a fancy way of saying it's plastic. The focal length on this camera is a fixed 106 millimeters at 0.6 meters to infinity. It also features a tripod mount on the base. Uh, this camera also includes a 1100 milliwatt hour battery built in, so it's rechargeable, which is pretty cool. It also comes with a neck strap and a USB cable for charging. Now, the only difference that this particular camera has over the other one-step cameras is that it's upside down. 
get it upside down <laughs> but don't worry it's just the decals it does not take your photos upside down unless you physically took pictures upside down <laughs> now also the other thing that this has over the other ones is I guess they improved the flash because this is one of the last models that they put out of the one step two version and they improved the flash I don't have another one to compare it to but that's just what it says and three on the bottom it has instructions and uh and how to use it and on this particular model stranger things it has a stranger things themed instructions it says shoot at least two feet from the demogorgon keep the light behind you always use the flash it kills the monsters which is a neat little touch now enough about the specs let's see this bad boy in action and some of the photos you can get out of it we are here in the actual bunker under Mall of America. Uh, no, just kidding. We're in the basement of my friend Danny. He is gonna be the model today. He has an awesome, awesome Ghostbusters costume. Still wanna keep it in the Stranger Things world. And if you remember in season two of Stranger Things, they dress up as Ghostbusters. So I thought it'd be cool uh, utilization of this theme of video, I think it fit pretty good. But he has some arcades, which is also in Stranger Things. I thought that'd be pretty cool. We're gonna use this lovely guy over here probably fog machine uh, as well so we're gonna get some cool stuff and I also brought a few of my RGB lights too to add some cool effects to the shop and I have a few other surprises I'm going to show you along the way so let's get started funny story uh, Danny here actually picked up these stranger things packs for me uh, they were on sale what I think geek right yeah on sale for what six bucks I think it was yep. uh, about three packs or so now I'm just yeah, using them here on him <laughs> full circle the downside to this is these are from, I think it's season three of Stranger Things, uh, but that came out a while ago. These have expired, but not by too too long. Uh, this is would have expired in February of 2020. Um, I have kept these all cold stored since I've owned them, which is most ideal. So if you have Polaroid film, you want to keep it uh, chilled in a dry, cool place, and it will keep it from going bad faster. That's what I'm trying to say. So what I have also done as a special little added experiment, I uh, hopefully I did this right. I've never quite done it like this before. So we'll find out. The film that is used in this camera is the new iType film, which means you can't use it in vintage cameras, which some of the vintage cameras are better, such as the SX70. This is an SLR camera, so it has a glass lens and you can visually see what you are shooting. You can frame it up however you want in super crisp, sharp, beautiful pictures. They didn't make Stranger Things film for these cameras, only in the iType, which has a plastic lens and a rangefinder. Lens is here, I'm viewing it from here. So you'd have to kind of compensate and guess when. Images are pretty good, not as good as the older cameras. What I have done is I swapped out a film pack of iType and put it into a pack with battery so I can shoot it with the SX-70, with the Stranger Things film. I did it in the dark, I think. <laughs> Hopefully it was dark enough, but we're gonna find out in a little bit. Probably not a good idea to be doing this in the rain, you know, but hey, we're doing it anyway. So we're walking down here to uh, uh, the headquarters of Dark Horse. I mean, Dark Horse actually has this whole block right here. Uh, one of their main offices is there and over there and then down here as well. They have a predator and follow me, come on, come on down. We've got, they have a life-size predator down here. I'm actually taking this picture for a friend. It's kind of interesting. I've never met somebody that actually has, what's, what's the right word for it? Um, she's attracted to it in a, in a, a way that doesn't, wouldn't normally be uh, thought of. Like a fetish? Uh, I guess it's a fetish. Like a furby, say. but a predator? Yeah, it's kind of weird, but hey, no, I'm a, I'm a, who am I to judge? So I'm going down here to take a picture of it. Looks like we got someone down here already looking at it. I think it. it's the smile. It's, it's the smile. smile, exactly. But it's going to probably be pretty difficult to get the picture because it's inside in here, so it might not be lit properly, but we're going to find out. It's actually not lit too bad, but there is some reflection. So let's find out if I can get something. Once a year, yeah, these monsters are actually real. And once a year, they come out to hunt, and that's today. Oh wow! Ew, I, better be, I better be careful. careful. I better be careful. Yeah. They come to life apparently today only. So, there we go. So since I'm shooting into the glass, I gotta make sure the flash is off. So I set the exposure compensation up so I can get the most brightness out of here because it really isn't lit that well. Let's see what I can do. Not great. There's a lot of reflection. Got one. 
Let's get out of the rain, shall we? Yeah, so... Regrettably, we walked here from two blocks down the way. <laughs> it's uh, really pouring down that Pacific Northwest style. Isn't this just humidity, as you would say? Yeah, it's, it's not even raining. This, it's 100% humidity right now. <laughs> it's this ain't, this ain't rain. Look, but we're, I mean, I'm wearing shorts. And Jordan's wearing shorts too. I know, it's so humid right now. Humid, it's not even humid, it's just humid. <laughs> Whew, soak. Being wet right now. How's the camera holding up? I mean, it's cold enough, it's just a little bit. <laughs> a little wet all right got a couple photos hopefully uh, they turn out okay we'll find out soon did you even take damn picture of the predator with my phone you go back <laughs> Let's get this fog machine going and it's warmed up. There's not a lot of manual control with this particular camera. So since it's dark in here, I have to put this on a tripod without a flash, because I don't want that on. I have Daniel hold very still for this picture. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's it. That looks cool. Oh, three, two, one. But all this that you see, you probably aren't gonna see this on camera. Yeah. I'll show you guys later. <laughs> You'll actually see it right now on screen. But it, all this like weird artifacting is probably due to the fact that it's expired film. <laughs> but it's still cool because it's you know Stranger Things theme is kind of creepy and eerie looking, so kind of. And is it from the '80s too? Yeah, it just kind of adds its own little thing. I'm gonna use this one uh, because I can frame it using the this one. But it's it's a really cool. I've taken some good photos with it. But it's a guesswork. <laughs> you don't know exactly what you're gonna get, which is also part part of the charm of using Polaroid cameras. I got iType film coming out of an SLR. That's pretty cool. Three, two, one. Too long. Too long. I don't want to use a flash in this instance because it'll be too powerful and it'll take out the color lights that I'm trying to keep in the shot. So I see I'll light his face up a little bit. And it should, should be good. I don't know, I think I'm too close. I think it's two feet, it's more two feet, okay. That's two feet. Yeah. All right, ready? Three, two, one. It helps if I turn the camera on. <laughs> okay, all right, ready? here we go. Three, I'm pulling two, a fill. Three, two, one. That might have been okay. We'll find out. This film is 600 film, which uh, the ISO or ASA is 640, which means it's pretty sensitive to light. Not like crazy, but it definitely doesn't need a lot of shutter. The other camera, the, the SX70, this guy, is technically rated for an ISO of 125, which needs to stay open longer. I'm using 600 film in here with an ND filter on the pack, so that's probably why um, it's staying open for a lot longer because it thinks it needs to. One thing I noticed is that I probably shouldn't have used the fog machine in such a closed off small space like I did in the, the secret bunker under Mall of America. Kind of a noob move. It kind of washed out all the images, but I still think it kind of lends a unique look, especially in that Stranger Things creepy feel. Shooting with expired film can definitely be a fun thing. You never know what you're gonna get, but I encourage you guys, I can't stress this enough, please, whatever you do, do not go out and buy a ton of it like I did. Yeah. I make bad decisions so you don't have to. You, like, spend lots of money on film that's expired. Now, let's take a look at some good packs and see what this is fully capable of. I decided to whip out the old SLR 680 because, you know, why not? Let's have some fun. I really hope you guys liked this video. It was so much fun to make. Uh, kind of expensive one, though. 
Yeah, I'm looking at you, Film Packs. A lot of money. And check back tomorrow for the next episode of the Just Another Chris Halloween 2020 special. Don't want to miss that one. And consider subscribing. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some art, and stay away from Demogorgons. Please.